because of the main highways you can't walk. Former Bellhaven Mayor Adam O'Neill fought hard to keep the hospital in his community. Well, I've got a bunch of stories about that. He even led two marches to Washington, D.C. to protest the hospital closure. So I thought if enough people saw what was happening here and saw the documents and saw what was happening, that somebody would help us. That was my belief at that time. So this is the original hospital. But in 2014, Vidant Pungo Hospital closed its doors. The hospital closure affected not just those in Bellhaven, but also those who live in surrounding communities. Between Washington, North Carolina, and Nags Head, North Carolina, is 130 miles. So there's a 130-mile gap without an emergency room in eastern North Carolina. That would be almost like a no uh, hospital between Raleigh and Wilmington, you see. So it's a big deal. O'Neill says the hospital closure also put more than 100 people out of work and is costing the community about $17 million of economic impact a year. And when you're talking about a town of 1,600 people, when you take $17 million of economics out of the community, of money flow, it's devastating. Biden Health says they closed the hospital in part because of the condition of the facility, its location in a flood zone, and it was losing money. The closure is part of a nationwide trend of rural hospitals shutting down, mainly because they lose money delivering services to patients. It's sad to think the people that help build this community, help build this county, help build this, this, you know, this area, are the ones that are having to suffer now because of the lack of health care. Bill Booth was one of the community leaders at the front of the fight to save the hospital in Bellhaven. He says those in rural communities already face numerous health disparities, and the closure of rural hospitals make those residents even more vulnerable. Because of that, uh, and like we said back then, people have died, and they're still dying. There's us walking. Uh, For O'Neill, he wants to continue to shed light on the trend of rural hospitals closing and highlight the cost on communities and those who live there. Because the silent cost of these rural hospitals closing is that people are sicker because they don't get attention to a stroke in time. They don't get attention to a heart attack in time. So the cost of not having these rural hospitals is extreme.